is it worth it to try and get a biology degree in 2022 in this video we're going to go over getting a bachelor's degree a master's degree or even a phd degree in biology we're also going to go over my favorite two occupations that you can get with just a bachelor's degree in biology the biology degree at the undergraduate level is extremely popular in 2019 121,000 bachelor's degrees were awarded making this the fifth most popular bachelor's degree in the United States for master's degrees there was about 18,000 master's degrees awarded in biology making it the ninth most popular master's degree and then for doctoral degrees biology is the fifth most popular with about 8,000 awarded in 2019 for biology degrees the vast majority of people will stop at the bachelor's degree level and this is partially due to the fact that college is getting more and more expensive every single year the average tuition for a public and state program is around 26,000 per year for public out of state about 43 and private around $55,000 per year the price of college just seems to keep going up and up and up every single year and this is why it is so important for you to choose the right career if you're confused at all about which career you should be going into we have the program for you and choose the right career we actually have a seven-step program to take you from potentially over a thousand different occupations to that one right occupation for you in our program we take into account how much money you want to make what your values are what are you interested in what is your personality like and more most people choose the wrong career and this costs them a lot of time and money check out the link below for more details and for a limited time use coupon code youtube dash sub for 10 percent off so what kind of occupations can you go into with just a bachelor's degree in biology I actually went on indeed.com and I filtered for bachelor's degree in biology and I found quite a few job postings that just require a bachelor's degree in biology. These include being a biological monitor, a biostatistician, ecologist, clinical lab assistant, patent examiner, research assistant, toxicology lab specialist, and tutor. To do this, just go on indeed.com and just type in biology bachelors and search the United States. So this will allow you to filter out which occupations actually just require a bachelor's degree in biology. I'm just gonna do a quick control F. And as you can see, this job only requires a bachelor's degree in biology, microbiology, chemistry, biochemistry. And this is a clinical lab assistant in Tyson's Corner, Virginia. Let's do one more. Wildlife biologist. Usually you would think this would require a PhD or something, but actually this just requires a bachelor's degree. So there's so many different kinds. There's online biology teacher, scientist too, uh, research assistants. There's so many job postings that just require tox toxicology lab specialist. All of these just require typically a bachelor's degree in biology. So one of the things I'm getting to when looking at these job postings is the fact that often you don't really need a graduate level degree in biology for a lot of different occupations. So next I'm gonna get into my two favorite occupations to get into with just a bachelor's degree in biology. The first occupation I really like for people that just wanna get a bachelor's degree in biology and just be done with it is microbiologist. In fact, according to the Occupational Information Network, almost 50% of microbiologists employed microbiologists just have a bachelor's degree and about 17% have a bachelor's degree plus some kind of certificate. And the average wage is around $92,000 per year. Not bad for an occupation that just requires typically a bachelor's degree. The next occupation that I really like for people that are just getting a major in biology, and this is actually a surprising one. You wouldn't think of this particular occupation when you're thinking of biologist or someone that's really interested in biology. It's actually data scientist. And a lot of people assume that only computer scientists and statisticians become data scientists. But bioinformatics is kind of a niche within data science. They actually have to have knowledge of Python, of creating statistical models. They actually need coding experience and they need to have a pretty good understanding of statistics and data. What's surprising about data scientists is the average employed data scientist just has a bachelor's degree. According to the Occupational Information Network, 85% of employed data scientists just have a bachelor's degree. And the average wage is almost $100,000 per year. Not bad for an occupation that just requires a bachelor's degree. It can be kind of daunting being a bio major and then trying to get into data science, specifically in the niche bioinformatics, but really just take a couple $10 Udemy courses, learn Python over a couple of weekends, and you'll be a lot more comfortable with it. Finally, there's another key reason why a lot of people major in biology. And many people major in biology because they're interested in going to med school. 
what's interesting is according to the association of american medical colleges and this was done this survey was done in 2021 2022 majoring in biology is not the best choice for med school according to this association for med school acceptance rates physical sciences is number one followed by humanities and math and statistics people that major in biology are number four so if you want the best possible chance of getting into med school majoring in biology is not the best choice you want to major in physical sciences or even humanities because those people that major in those two things tend to get into med school more often than people that major in biology Finally, let's say that you're really interested in getting a graduate level degree in biology. What kind of occupations can you get with a graduate level degree in biology? And things kind of do open up for biologists a little bit more. There's a lot more biologist positions available to you. You can become a consultant, a molecular biologist, a research writer, a researcher, and more. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. Associate business research analyst, some kind of engineering role, senior research assistant, wildlife biologist from for Port of Seattle. And you can see that this particular position requires a master's degree in wildlife biology. Another particular position, maybe molecular biologist for Dallas County. Let's see if it requires a master's. Yes, master's degree or higher and related field is preferred. And you can scroll further down this list and you can see other job posts. Senior biologist, another bi wildlife biologist. Many of these positions, oh, data scientist particular role, fish biologist, Many of these particular positions require a master's degree in biology. What's interesting is a lot of those job postings that require a master's degree in biology, there's similar positions that just require a bachelor's degree in biology. So it really begs the question, do you really need to get a master's degree in biology to uh, work in the kind of roles that you really want to work in if you have a really deep fascination with biology? We can also look at the base salaries of some of these particular occupations, and we can actually compare it to the average debt incurred after getting a bachelor's, master's, or PhD degree. The average base salary for a biochemist, biophysicist is around 105,000, medical scientist around 102, epidemiologist around 84, and wildlife biologist around 70. Meanwhile, the average bachelor's degree debt at graduation is around 30, master's degree debt around 71, at graduation and PhD debt a staggering almost 160 thousand dollars so is a biology degree worth it in 2022 i definitely think it is especially if you're interested in maybe becoming a microbiologist or a data scientist or the number of occupations that we kind of went over today as varied as patent examiner and toxicology specialist there's all kinds of crazy interesting occupations available to bio majors and the question is do you really need to get that graduate degree in my opinion most of the time you do not. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out my other video on getting a psychology degree. It's also a pretty interesting degree to get and it's also extremely popular. One of the most popular degrees in the United States. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.